Arriving in Tertere, the sights and sounds of war are soon evident. The town is among those, Azerbaijan says, that have been targeted in recent Armenian bombardments. We were the only foreign TV crew allowed access to what is now a restricted area. We filmed under supervision, but without interference from the Azeri military. As you can see, I'm here in uh, Tartar. And uh, this shell just exploded recently, uh, hitting first, I think, the roof and uh, falling right here. Elsewhere, the town's commercial life has been hit. A shopping district heavily damaged in another apparent strike. Armenian troops fired one rocket that fell here, and they also hit over there. We've lived in Ter Ter for a long time, and we're not afraid to stay here. There have been similar reports in nearby communities. Our journey took us to Naftalan and then on to Genja. Here, too, life can seem normal. But another reality is just around the corner. We've been shooting in Naftalan when uh, a member of our crew read in the news that Ganja, second biggest city of Azerbaijan, was bombarded. And uh, so we're heading there to find out what happened. What we find is more bomb-damaged houses and traumatized local people. I'm here and I was cooking a meal for my son who's also here. Suddenly from behind me the door was blown out and onto the ground. I turned around and everything was destroyed. And even after the bombardments have stopped, the danger hasn't passed, as we saw for ourselves. Behind me is unexploded 300 mm Smirch missile. And here, as you can see, leaves a family. You can see a double stroller, their personal things. I think they're still at home. Communities on the Armenian side of the border have suffered similar attacks in the conflict that shows no sign of ending, despite international appeal for restraint. Emin Ibrahimov, Ganja, Euronews.